Back today, officials in Southern California revealed what caused the crash that severely injured golf legend Tiger Woods. ABC's Marcy Gonzalez is breaking it down. Investigators say Tiger Woods was speeding when he crashed this SUV in Southern California in February, going as fast as 87 miles an hour in a 45 mile per hour zone. Investigators finding that, along with an inability to navigate a curve in the road, caused the accident that left the golf superstar badly injured. The impact of the vehicle when it hit the tree caused the vehicle to go airborne and do a somewhat pirouette uh, landing on its side. The Los Angeles County Sheriff says the vehicle's data recorder shows that Woods never hit the brakes, instead kept his foot on the accelerator the entire time. Investigators believe it was just a panicked mistake. They also say they did not do a blood test to check Woods' sobriety because there was no evidence of impairment. There was no odor of alcohol, there were no open containers in the vehicle, and there were no narcotics or any evidence of medication. Woods is now home from the hospital where he underwent surgeries for serious injuries to his right leg, ankle and foot, tweeting that he is focused on his recovery, also thanking first responders and separately tweeting about missing the Masters tournament this week. I think it's kind of starting to set in. He's he's bummed. He's not here playing practice rounds with us and, and we hate it too. He's he's always missed when he when he doesn't play in these big events. So I'm sure he's going to put everything he has into to trying to be ready to play here next year. And despite the determination that Woods was speeding, the sheriff says no citations were issued because there were no witnesses and Woods didn't remember the crash. The sheriff maintains Woods was not given preferential treatment. Marcy Gonzalez, ABC News, Los Angeles. It's going to be weird without Tiger at the Masters.